Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review. This one is by Golden Road Brewing. It's called Ride On IPA. And um, this one comes in at, man, it's hard to read, shit, shoot, yeah, can't, can't read the font, it's like, um, kind of blurry actually, oh there we go, looks like, um, 6.4% ABV and this is what the can looks like as a um, best enjoy by date of 10 24 19 today is 8 23 19 so um, got two months to go on that so it's probably two months old it should be okay because it's in a can I don't like enjoy by dates because you don't know how long they give it I would give most IPAs two months and they're out of there but they probably do like four to six months so anything after two months is probably gonna be pretty you know expired well let's get cracked open and see what we got here I've had right on uh, IPA before at the brewery in Anaheim it's actually it was one of my go-to's when I was hanging out there a lot and I uh, never actually had it from a can, so this is kind of neat to see it here in a can. Right on! Ow! <laughs> Alright, well. Got that at Total Wine & More for like 11 bucks out the door for a six pack. So we got Monster, kind of foamy, big bubbles, uh, head there. Slightly hazy kind of yellow kind of a light amber color or yellow or light gold whatever slightly hazy though it's not crystal clear as you can see last train home yeah it is a little bit hazy you can't really see the can too good through it. It's a kind of a loose head. Um, it's not real tight. Kind of foamy now. You can see it's kind of foamy. A little bit on the foamy side. Not very creamy or nothing. It's not frothy either. It's just foamy looking. Looks like that kind of foam that you'd see in a hot tub. Alright, well let's get an aroma on this puppy. Well right up front it smells citrusy like tropical fruits. It smells freaking delicious. Got a lot of pine, a lot of pine hops in there. A lot of fruity, tropical fruity notes like pineapple, orange, uh, mango, tangerine, lemon, starburst candy, guava, some berries. It's got floral notes man this this is a complex excellent smelling beer let's get a hit cheers wow what an aroma the taste is less tropical it seems to be more aromatic than tasty um it, if the taste follows the aroma, but there's also a caramel sweetness I'm picking up in there. 
let's swill it and see what else we can get here. Cheers. Yeah, there's definitely a pronounced uh, caramel sweetness in there to balance out all those tropical fruit hops. It's not like a New England style. It's all these um, tropical notes I'm getting are from hops. However, they're doing that. I don't know. I'm not a brewer. I'm just a drinker. Let's swill it and see if I can pick up anything else. Cheers. Ribbit. Okay. I can tell you right off the bat, the aroma was much more enjoyable than the actual sip. Uh, this beer has got a phenomenal aroma to it. The sip is good, but just not busting like the aroma was. But it is tasty. <laughs> that is a good ass beer. That's a fucking freaking flogging, flapping, awesome beer. Yes. Best by date, crystal clear on the can there. Yeah, this is tasty. Um, it does, can does it justice for sure. And I don't even have it super cold. But um, the aroma off this thing is, is a 10, man. All day long tropical smelling. It's got some caramel sweetness and breadiness coming through. It's got good head retention now. All the it turned the, the head went tight on me. Leaving some some lacing on the glass there. That's a fantastic beer. This is this is very very tasty. It's very tropical. Very West Coast style. It's got a medium mouth feel. Um, I would definitely pick this up again if I can get it fresh, less than two months old. That aroma is off the chain. It's like Starburst candy, uh, orange strawberry or whatever, orange tropical, tropical uh, fruit Starburst candy is what it smells like and tastes like. It's fantastic. Yes, that's freaking flogging, flapping good. Um, man. This one kind of caught me off guard. I do like me some Golden Road, Wolf in the Weeds, Heal the Bay. Um, they've got a lot of really good beers there. Uh, Ride On is one of my go-tos when I'm at the brewery because uh, it's a better bang for the buck. If you're ever down there, you should hit up Golden Road, man. It's a cool brewery. It's big. A lot of cool people hanging around down there. A lot of good beers. Uh, it's it, it's just a cool one of my favorite breweries to uh, of all time actually. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm gonna give this puppy a four point three. This is really tasty. I can't believe uh, how good this is from the can. Um, if you see this. And it's less than two months old. I would highly recommend it for sure. Rip it. Let's swill it one more time. We'll wrap it up. Cheers. It's just hoppy and it's just dank and um, it's got a good balance. It's it's just a very tropical, sweet, really delicious IPA. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's really awesome. It's not grapefruity or nothing like that. It's more like, um, uh, like um, orange, pineapple, you know, tangerine, and like some guava, mangoes, uh, like tropical starburst candy. Uh, maybe a touch of lemon. It's very floral. It's got a lot of floralness to it. Uh, this is awesome. Cheers. 
Yep. All right, everybody, 4.3. Uh, this is a killer-ass beer. It's awesome. I love it. And I will definitely be uh, picking this up again in the near future. All right, y'all take it easy, and we'll catch you later. See ya.